Hello Vectors, uh, today how to create a totem of three measures and a an half from uh, the manufacturer Prolit. First of all, um, we are going to take the AV base uh, in the truss tool here. I'm going to make the choice and just to take this one. Okay, I put on the ground with the double click and I change this angle because not correct just here example okay just like that after i'm going in the trust tool and i'm take i'm going to take uh, the straight structure for example three meters okay you can to see it's not correct because i put under the ground just here you take here the AV base and I think it's not correct because okay zero like that okay that's better okay after that I'm going in the truss tool double click and okay now that's right okay I click on okay I have three meters and after I can to just take and copy and put like that okay okay and I take this base on the end okay just here and i put like that for example uh, a projector put on the totem okay it's really important now to transform this totem uh, and uh, uh, one symbol the name for example a totem uh, h30v prolite uh, three uh, meters and a an half and to have this totem in your personal library is really important because you, you can to have a lot of differently uh, totem and eight of totem and to put in your personal library uh, it's it's better because you don't have to recreate always you know then you can to select all your elements structure okay one two three four okay and i'm going to create a symbol okay i name this symbol for example totem okay three meters okay for example ash thread 30 sorry 30 v right, for example it's really important to make this choice uh, the next click just here okay i click okay and after is really important to uh, click just on on the ground and close to your heavy base like that okay it, it asks you okay you you want to go in my uh, document just here yes i want okay i click okay okay he creates the symbol and you can to see with the control r totem three meters and a half as 30 v pro late okay if i take this one just to drag and drop just here on the ground you can to see that's right that, that that's okay that works just on my ground okay i redo double click and i'm going just here one click after i can to change this angle like that and double click i have now my symbol of the totem three meters and a half and if you create just just here a stage that works too that's really nice to to uh, to have this solution too because i create a stage uh, the eight is uh, one meters and 20 centimeters and you can to see uh, i take this one in my uh, resource manager and I double click just here and you can see on my stage I can to put on my stage too and I and I change this angle okay double click and I can to create okay just like like that you can to see uh, the totem come on just at the, on the top of my stage or uh, on the ground of for my example uh, arena just here that's really nice and you have this symbol after that you can to export export where in your personal library it's really important to make that because after that you have this symbol in your personal library 
and you don't have to recreate this totem. The better things to do is make a lot of differently totem uh, you used usually, and after that, that's okay. You have your creation, and you can to put light on after, or differently a bracon in French, uh, on your uh, just here a membrure in French, uh, on your totem. Okay, bye bye vectors and uh, good luck for your creation uh, for the totem. Okay, bye.